what up everybody just wanted to make a little video i wish i would have did it whenever i was installing the kit but it is what it is i guess i wouldn't have been able to hold the camera anyway but uh this is 2016 audi a4 it has stage two integrated engineering crackle tune on it uh it's got a couple other things but this video i want to get into the methanol injection kit <clears throat> this thing was not fun to install they're all like universal but um you know you still got to kind of figure out your own plumbing and mounting and i'm super weird about like not drilling into the car and you know, I just want it to be <clears throat> how it is factory. <clears throat> so I started with the tank and there was nowhere in this engine bay that I can mount this little three quart tank. So back here, I had to build a little bracket because I didn't want to drill into the firewall. So I built this little bracket there's like screws that you see right there already coming off the firewall. So I just took a piece of aluminum bar, bent it to get me out past those screws. And then I can mount the tank to it. Then after I got that tank done and mounted, I had to figure out a place for the pump. These pumps should be within two feet. I'm at like three feet, so I'm hoping that's not a problem. You know, I might get bashed for that, but whatever. And my tank is just a hair higher, so. And that's this pump should be lower than your tank. <clears throat> but this is all I could do. I built a bracket. It's a metal bracket. I just bent some steel. And I took out one bolt, my alternator, drilled a hole in it, and I bent that steel. So now that pump just sits up mounted to that steel, and it's solid. That thing isn't going anywhere. I still haven't ran into the plumbing yet. I'm waiting on... I got this kit and then there was a piece missing, so I'm waiting on a solenoid. But <clears throat> next part was absolute nightmare. I had to run the controller, I ran it through a uh, grommet here in the firewall. And uh, man, it was a nightmare. I took my whole entire dash apart. I, uh, took my screen out, I took my cluster out, I took it all out, but I finally got it wired. And then um, as soon as I did it, I realized that I didn't run a wire for the light for the tank because they give you a little light in there to let you know, like a, a switch to let you know that your tank's getting low, but you gotta run wire if you want to like, you know, have that in the car. So I had to pull it all back out, put enough fish and other wire through, get it all back in with the nightmare, and then put it all back together. It sucked. <clears throat> but uh, waiting on this part to get here, then I can run everything else. And I gotta figure out how to set it all up. I also just ordered, that's a high flow cat down in here. I just ordered a test pipe last night to see if that makes any difference. But, uh, yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat>